Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit and here we have been asked to find the total energy that is dissipated across this Zener diode. So if you see this circuit, then here the initial voltage across the capacitor is equal to 10 volt and at time t is equal to 0, this switch has been closed. That means at time t is equal to 0, if we see the equivalent circuit, then this is how it will look like. So as soon as the switch gets closed, then this capacitor will start discharging through this resistor as well as the Zener diode. Let's say this current is equal to IC of T. So here the total energy that is dissipated across this Zener diode can be given as integration 0 to infinity this P of Z times dt where this Pz is the total power that is dissipated across this Zener diode. Or further we can write it as integration 0 to infinity this vz times this ic of t times dt where this vz is the voltage across the zener diode and this ic of t is the current that is flowing through the zener diode so here we already know that the zener voltage is equal to 5 volt that means whenever this zener diode is conducting then the voltage across the zener diode or this vz is equal to 5 volt that means here the only thing that we need to find is this capacitor current. So here we have been given that initially this voltage across the capacitor is equal to 10 volt. That means here this Vc of 0 minus is equal to 10 volt. And we know that the capacitor opposes the instantaneous change in the voltage. That means at time t is equal to 0 plus also the voltage across the capacitor will still remain 10 volt. Now here if you observe then this inner diode will conduct whenever the voltage across it is greater than 5 volt. That means as soon as the voltage across the capacitor goes below 5 volt, then this inner diode will turn off. And in this condition, it will act as a open circuit. So we can say that during the discharging of this capacitor, the minimum voltage across the capacitor will be equal to 5 volt. Or we can say that this Vc of infinity will be equal to 5 volt. And from this, we can easily find the equation for the voltage across the capacitor. So we know that this Vc of t is equal to Vc of infinity plus Vc of 0 minus Vc of infinity times e to the power minus t divided by Rc. So here this Vc of infinity is equal to 5 volt while the Vc of 0 is equal to 10 volt. That means we will have 5 plus 10 minus 5 times e to the power minus t divided by Rc. Or we can say that this Vc of t or the voltage across the capacitor is equal to 5 plus 5 times e to the power minus t divided by Rc. So as you can see, whenever the t is 0, then the voltage across the capacitor is equal to 10 volt. And at time t is equal to infinity, this voltage is equal to 5 volt. So this will be the equation of the voltage across the capacitor. And from this, if you want to find the capacitor current, then we can easily find that. So let us see that. So we know that this capacitor current IC of T can be given as C times this dV divided by dT. And here, since the capacitor is discharging, so here we will have the negative sign, which indicates that here the rate of change of voltage is negative. That means here, this capacitor current is equal to minus C times the differentiation of this above expression. So here, the differentiation of the phi is equal to 0. And if we differentiate this term, then we will get this phi divided by minus rc times this e to the power minus t divided by rc. So here this c will get cancelled out and we will have this phi divided by r times this e to the power minus t divided by rc. So here the value of the r is equal to 10 kilo ohm while the value of the c is equal to 10 microfarad. That means here if we calculate the value of rc then that is equal to 0.1. So in the above expression, if we put the value of R and C, then we can write it as 5 divided by 10 kilo ohm times this e to the power minus 10 times T or that is equal to 0.5 times e to the power minus 10 times T milliampere. So in this way, we got the expression of the capacitor current. So in case, if you do not want to find the capacitor current in this way, then using the initial and the final values of the capacitor current also you can find the same expression. So let us also see that. 
So here, as soon as the switch gets closed, then the current IC of T will start flowing through this circuit. So here, this IC of 0 plus will be equal to VC of 0 plus, that is this voltage minus VZ divided by R, where the VZ is the voltage across the Zener diode and this R is the 10 kilo ohm resistor. That means this IC of 0 plus is equal to 10 minus phi divided by R, that is equal to phi divided by 10 kilo ohm or that is equal to 0.5 milliampere. That means this IC of 0 plus is equal to 0.5 milliampere. And we know that at time t is equal to infinity, this capacitor current will be equal to 0. So in this way, we got the initial and the final value of the capacitor current. So we know that this capacitor current IC of t can be given as this IC of infinity plus IC of 0 minus IC of infinity times e to the power minus t divided by RC where the RC is the time constant of the given circuit. So here if you put the initial and the final values then this IC of t will come out as 0 plus 0.5 minus 0 times e to the power minus 10 times t or that is equal to 0.5 times e to the power minus 10 t milliampere. So in this way Using both methods, we can easily find the expression of the capacitor current. And once we know the values of this capacitor current, then we can easily find the energy that is dissipated across this Zener diode. So this Ez will be equal to 0 to infinity, this Vz times this IC of T times dt. So here, this Vz is equal to 5 volt and this IC of T is equal to 0.5 times e to the power minus 10 t times dt. And here, since this current is in the milliampere, so once we find the value of the energy, then directly it will be in the millijoule. So further we can write it as this 2.5 times integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus 10 t times dt. So if we integrate this term, then we will get 2.5 times this e to the power minus 10 t divided by minus 10. And here, the limits will be from 0 to infinity. So that is equal to 0.25 times minus e to the power minus 10 t with limits from 0 to infinity. So further we can write it as 0.25 times this e to the power minus infinity is 0 while the e to the power 0 is 1 and that is equal to 0.25. So we can say that the energy that is dissipated across this inner diode is equal to point to 5 millijoule and therefore for the given question the answer is equal to 0.25